What is up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Got something good for you today. You guys will have to stick tuned to the video to see what it is. I'm sure you can kind of tell by the thumbnail uh, thumbnail and the title what it is, but you guys will have to stick tuned and see all the, the good stuff. But I got out, did a little marsh fishing, chasing after some specks, some reds, and uh, you know, anything that would bite out here. And it's, uh, you know, a couple weeks into January and the fishing is good. The, the redfish are fired up. There's still some trout around. Everything's good. It's been, definitely been good. So if you guys are interested in a guided fishing trip, whether it be surf fishing, kayak fishing, boat fishing, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com and I can definitely get you taken care of. But I'm not going to hang out here too long. We're going to jump into the video. It's going to be kind of short, sweet, to the point, but it's going to be a good one. Like I said, I've done one kind of like this in the past and I just wanted to do it again and had uh, had fun, had a tasty treat and got to catch a few fish too. So you all have to stick tuned to the video. It's kind of going to kind of be a two part thing. You know, I've got this video that I'm doing here. And then the next video you'll see will be the like full day of you know all the catches and everything. So y'all make sure you're staying tuned for that. Uh, make sure you're subscribed up and everything for that. But I'm gonna quit on hammering on and we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into the video. Good pros will drive you crazy sometimes. But we're coming up on the second spot now. This is the deepest hole of this whole creek. And um, I wanna say deep out here, it's all fairly relative. Um, you know, like this hole I consider deepest. The deepest hole is uh, probably, I don't know, seven, eight feet deep. But it gives a trout a uh, place for these trout to kind of get out of the, uh, get into some deeper water, try to stay a little bit warmer. Now this is where we caught our fish the other day. But it's all some, like I said, it's all some very respectable fish in here. So what I'm gonna do is kind of pull myself right alongside this point here so I don't have to worry about spooking these fish. And I'm gonna fish all, all this stuff right around in here. There he is. Good fish, good fish, good fish. Good fish. This is a trout, this is a dandy. It's kind of fighting like a trout. It's in the glares, I can't really see. Still haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's red. There we go. First fish of the day. Nice muddy redfish. There we go. Nice. Not a bad one at all. Woo. Mud hole. All right. Yeah, you don't want to calm down. Here's my first fish of the morning. Nice red. Just ate that paddle tail. Sitting, uh, didn't really expect to catch a red out of this hole. We caught one here the other day, but kind of thought it was a fluke, but, uh, Got another one. This one's a skinny one. I'm probably going to wind up keeping this one. I don't want to keep a redfish out of the school up there anymore. I think I'm just going to keep this one. Uh, so I know I have something to cook at the end of the day. Um, but I'm going to keep trying to get some trout. I'm going to keep fishing this hole a little bit longer. And uh, he ate the first time I changed my presentation where I was just barely dragging the bottom. So that may be the ticket. So we're going to try that a few more times and see what else we can get. All right. Well, I'm done fishing now. Ended up being a pretty good day. Caught a few more fish after my cameras died there. I stopped at a couple of the spots I fished working up. Ended up with 10, uh, 10 redfish and two specks. Unfortunately, the two specks were too small to keep, so had to let them go. I was really hoping to get some specks to be able to do a little bit different uh, cook for you today, but I just wound up with that one redfish. So, um, you know, I could have kept plenty more redfish, but I decided to only keep one today. But I'm going to get that redfish all prepared, ready, get it all cleaned up. I'm going to spare you all from seeing all that. But I got my setup here. I got my, 
my little handy dandy cooker. Got this nice piece of wood that I found that'll act as a great cutting board. Got my cooler and I got a five gallon bucket I found today too. So I got everything I need. The only thing I don't have that I need is my fillet knife. So I'm gonna have to use my pocket knife. Luckily it's a, it's a pretty big pocket knife, but uh, it's definitely not gonna be the easiest. But I'm gonna get that fish filleted all up and then we'll get it cooking and we'll be back to you. All right, I got my fish all cleaned up now. I'm just gonna eat the tenderloin off one filet for now. I'm uh, not super hungry. I've been snacking throughout the morning, so I'm just gonna eat a little bit. And I uh, got me, like I said, I just got me some good old blackening seasoning. It's the good old Tony Shasheris, Tony Sasheris. That is uh, my preferred blackening seasoning. Got a little bit of oil right there. And uh, I got this, this is my multi-spice. I might add a little cayenne, give it a little kick. Um, you know, maybe, that's probably about the only thing I'll add to it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna get to cooking. I'm just gonna do a light pan fry and uh, yeah, it's gonna be tasty. Got this seagull over here interested in what I'm doing. Fresh redfish, man. This is uh, only been out of the water a couple hours now. Um, you know, I caught this fish probably about, oh, I'd say about eight, nine o'clock, and here it is, you know, one o'clock. So it's uh, not very long since this fish was swimming, but it's going to taste very, very good. He's kind of letting it fry up. My fork does not want to lock in place. Be getting pretty close here. Fantastic. Be a nice little shore lunch here. It's always nice when you can come out, catch a few fish, have your little lunch on the on the beach here, sandbar, and noise and giant. <laughs> Enjoy a nice view. Good day. Good day to be in the marsh. I think that's about gonna do it for this fish. It should be pretty close to done here. Check some of these thicker parts. It's all looking good, so we'll go ahead and pull this off. All right, fish is all ready, so you all know what that means. If y'all watched my last time I did this, I'm sure you know it's coming. It's kind of my thing, though. Having a shore lunch. Might as well just enjoy some, some nice salt water. A little cleaner than last time. There's nothing floating in it this time, so that's good. It's gonna be a tasty treat. All right, I got everything ready. Got this nice cup of salt water. We'll go ahead and give that a try and see. Uh, very salty. Really cleans the palate nice. Gets things uh, gets things really uh, <coughs> good to uh, 
taste the, the salty fish. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's try some fish. Let's see, first bite. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Mm, mm. Oh, oh man. Mm. 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 They're fantastic. I can't tell if I put a little too much Tony's on it or if it's just the salt from the water, but that is fantastic redfish. It's, it's it's tough to beat fresh redfish that, you know, like I said, this fish was swimming not even, you know, four hours ago, three hours ago. And um, I'm sure he didn't expect his day to end like this. He didn't expect to become YouTube famous. But that's how it goes sometimes. That's the uh, circle of life, I suppose. But, mm, very good. I got the seagull flying around. I think he wants to try some too might give him a bite but i think i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this fish got a little bit of a paddle ahead of me got about a three out uh, three mile pedal back to the launch but it paid off today very good very good fish everything was uh, just fantastic caught a lot of fish today ended up catching the trout i was looking for so today definitely worked out um didn't didn't really get any of the big trout that i was looking for i saw some some pretty nice ones just couldn't get them to eat i think it's just it's that time of year, water's so cold. Um, I don't think I'm throwing a big enough bait, to be honest. I think I need to come out here with something a little bit bigger. But uh, but yeah, that turned out to be a great day. Great, great day of fishing, great day of eating. But if you guys are interested in a guided fishing trip along the Alabama Gulf Coast, whether it be Dolphin Island, Fort Morgan, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, anywhere that salt water touches Alabama, if you guys are interested in a guided fishing trip, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com or you can check out Whistling Waters on the Fishing Chaos app. But right now I'm offering kayak fishing, surf fishing, and boat fishing. So if you're interested in any of those three, be sure to shoot me an email and we can get you taken care of. We can come do all this kind of stuff. But I think that's going to about do it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, shoot me the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. That way you can know when I got some more videos dropping. Kind of made it my, uh, my resolution going into 2023, I guess, is to uh, try to pump out some more videos. I'm going to try to try to stick to one a week. We'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm just going to try to... Try to get some more content out like the like the good old days, you know, back a couple years ago when I was putting out videos left and right. But I'm going to try to get back to that point. But I need your guys' help and support. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to share it. Be sure to like it. Be sure to leave a comment, everything like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to finish this fish, then get out of here. But I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.